Oh, so close. Uh, day one, not quite there. We just crossed the Mackinac Bridge. Just stopped to get some pictures. Pretty cool view out here. Check it out. Check back in a little bit. We have dunes and Grand Sable Lake over here on the left. Got a little bit of a road hike. Maybe, I don't know, quarter mile, half mile. And then we will be back on the trail. All right, so here we are. We're at our uh, first overview. This is log slide. The log slide itself is gone from erosion. But I'm gonna walk up to sand dune here and uh, check out the view. Oh wow. That is pretty cool. Check out the view of that lake. It's beautiful. Check out this view coming up along this trail. It's right on the ridge of the trail. This is amazing. This is a beautiful place. Wow. So this campsite. Um, that's Josh Eversall's setup. He's using the Perry Outdoors tarp, Dream Hammock. There is a uh, Tim setup. He's using the war bonnet. Big Mama Jamba Dream Hammock with the uh, X Therm sleep pad. And there's my setup. I'm using the UGQ Sil Poly Tarp with the Dream Hammock and the X Therm sleep pad. So this is camp for the night. Waking up at 6 in the morning. It's freezing here. It's like 40 degrees right now. So we're gonna get up, start packing things up, and uh, we got a big day today. I think we're doing 13 miles today. So we gotta get moving. All right, so here we are, day two. We're on the trail, just started off. Made it to the All Sable Lighthouse. The lighthouse ain't open right now, so we can't go up in it, but it's still pretty cool to look at. And of course, it's right along the shoreline. Just good start to another beautiful day. I feel great. It's a beautiful day. All right, so we're on 12 Mile Beach. Another beautiful spot here on the National Lake Shore. Just gonna stop, take a, about a quick 20 minute break here. Maybe eat some lunch. I can't believe I've never been to this place before. It's absolutely gorgeous. Check 
check it out, guys. 12 miles of beach along Lake Superior. It's pretty crazy. For miles and miles. Wow, it's beautiful. What do you think, Josh? Is it going? I guess so. Okay. okay. All right, I'm going in the water. You guys are nuts. still walking along the uh, beach here very pretty we just finished up a pretty long break we ate lunch down on the beach actually jumped in Lake Superior that's probably the coldest water I've ever felt in my life but it was amazing I had to do it and it felt good so here we are we're back on the trail heading to camp for day two um, should be there in about another two miles had about a 13 mile day but this is uh, it's just beautiful out here All these campsites these are pretty cool Got fire rings right on the beach back there's my hammock if you can see it definitely a cool area down camp we got a 16 mile day today so we're gonna get moving early and uh, I think we're approaching the the uh, most scenic section of the trail We're we're actually getting to where the pictured rocks are so uh, this should be a good day like I said we got 16 miles today so it's time to get moving yeah, <laughs> Early morning, stay separate. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fish jumping up there. Or if it's just the water. So we have come to the point on the trail where we have reached uh, Spray Falls. It's a little uh, overlook. Walk out on this uh, edge of the cliff here. Rock ledge, whatever you want to call it. And we should get a view of the waterfall. I can hear it. And there it is over to the left. Pretty cool little area. Nice outlook. How clear that water is. It's amazing. If anybody knows why this water is so clear, comment below. So the waterfall we just seen a minute ago on the uh, outlook over the cliffs, this is the uh, river that flows down the mountains off the cliffs into uh, Spray Falls. So we're gonna walk out to the edge of Spray Falls here and check it out. So here we are. This is the uh, edge of where the stream comes out. You see it kind of flows down from the mountain here. Right off of the edge of the cliffs. It's pretty cool. This right here, guys, this is the type of shit you can only see if you backpack out here. This is why we do it. So here we are just past where those waterfalls were. And this is kind of a odd thing. There's a, a sand dune right up here on the top of the cliffs. It's kind of strange going from rock cliffs to this. And now it looks like we're about to walk down onto a beach on top of the cliffs overlooking Lake Superior. This is cool. This is the only place we've been backpacking that has this kind of diversity. You can go from sand to rocks to piney forest in no time. It's really cool. And if you can see that point, that is where we are heading. Yeah, this is cool. 1,600 calories today. I always feel more bloated after a trip for some reason. I think I think you explained it. The sodium or whatever. Stool and water retention. Yeah. Stop for a quick break. We're out here on the edge of this uh, cliff. Kind of a cool spot to take a break. A little sketchy, but it's kind of cool. Got about a hundred foot drop off into the water. <laughs> so we've come across this bridge. A little sketchy looking here. As I'm cam camcording, walking across. Hey, third time the charm, right? Came across this really sketchy bridge, and me and Josh crossed it just fine, so here goes Tim. Ooh, that's a little shaky. All right, guys, we've made it to Chapel Rock. This is a pretty cool site. It's done uh, almost six miles today already. We're going a little bit slow of a pace, but that's okay. We got all and the then, if you can see, the beach is over there. Very cool. This is Chapel Falls running off into Lake Superior. So 
check that out. Look how fast that water's moving. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool little stretch of trail right here, right along the pictured rocks. So this whole time that we've been looking at this cliff line and uh, we've been taking pictures of it in that arch that you have seen from the distance, we've just come up on it. This is called Grand Portal Point. And now we're actually going to walk out on top of it. So again, you're going to hear me say, this is pretty cool. Awesome. Really, where else can you see this kind of stuff? Hey! So really, how cool is this, guys? Back up a little bit before I fall off. There's Josh waving at the boat. I'm in Lake, Lake Superior here. It's ice cold, but it's so refreshing to get in there after being on the trail for three days. You get pretty nasty, you get pretty smelly. So we jumped into Ice Cold Lake again. Yeah. And we're gonna stop and eat lunch here. All right, we're coming up on, uh, this is Miner's River. Gonna cross this bridge. Coming up on Miner's Castle. That'll be our last uh, stopping point for the day. We'll tank up on some water, and then we'll still have a couple miles to hit camp, and then we'll hit camp. But we are definitely ready for camp tonight. It's been almost a 17 mile day. So we're all tired, hungry, sore, you know, whatever. I'm ready for camp. So we're just gonna keep trekking on. That cliff group is a lot closer in front with me. They kind of grow pretty cool. Have you looked at the plants? This is where a python would come out. A python? What? This is where a python would come out. Or Tarzan or something. You would definitely be Jane. <laughs> <laughs> guys here we are made it back to the car got cleaned up did 42 miles over four days awesome trail um, very diverse you could go from sand dunes to deep forest to cliffs it's a very cool trail if you ever get a chance come out check it out um, pictured rocks national lakeshore awesome trail good hike